you can make your own VPN in under five minutes without writing a single line of code. And I'm gonna show you how. Whether it's for hiding your locations or streaming Netflix from countries you're not supposed to or downloading those totally legal torrents, a VPN is your go-to tool. So let's make our own. To do that, we have to thank Linode who are the sponsors of this video because let's be honest, no VPN company is going to. Linode is also giving you $100 worth of credit to go and create your very own account. So let's stick a timer on the screen and let's get going. Right, after you created your account using the link in the description below, on the left hand side, simply click on Marketplace. At the top, all these apps will load up. Ignore all of those, simply scroll down until you're gonna see something called Open VPN. There it is. And we're gonna simply click on that. We're gonna continue scrolling down. Now, the first one says these are advanced options, but don't stress, they're not required for the creation. We're gonna ignore that for now. What we are gonna select is an image. I'm gonna use Debian 11 and then I'm scrolled down. Now I'm gonna see a region. Now, this is important. This is where your VPN will actually be located. So let's just pick one. I'm gonna pick Dallas, Texas. I'm gonna choose the shared CPU. I'm gonna choose the cheapest option. All right, let's scroll further down and then Linode label. I'm gonna call mine Open VPN USA because that's where the server is gonna be physically located. Okay, root password. This is super, super important. Oh. Root is basically the administrative level. This is not the username and password that you'll log onto your server with when you're running your VPN. So make it nice and secure. I then click on create Linode. It then provisions my server. You'll see the provisioning changes to running and we're good to go. Only a few minutes in and our server is ready. So the next step is to create your username and password so that you can connect to it. Timer's back on and let's roll. This is the first time we're doing this. We're gonna click on this little button here to launch the console. And what this does is actually goes and configures it. And we gotta let this thing run until you see this login prompt. We're looking up there and we'll see login as OpenVPN. That's the username and that's the password and it is case sensitive. Once you've written that down, on your main console, you'll see an IP address. Right click on that and then click on copy. Open a new window, paste it in, but after the IP address, put colon 943 forward slash admin. And that will bring you to a screen that looks like this. We're gonna click on advanced and we're gonna click on proceed anyway. It's our server, this is perfectly fine. Remember that username and password that it created? We're gonna type that in here and click on sign in. This is the dashboard of the OpenVPN server that we've just created. So let's go ahead and create our user. So we're gonna click on user management, click on user permission under new user, just give it a name. So I'm gonna give it my own name, click on more settings. And here I have an option to choose my password, scroll down it and click on save settings. Once I've done that, note it is at the top. You have to click on the update running server. It's got to commit your changes to the working environment so that you can connect. Once I've done that, allow auto logging. Let's check if it works. Right, this is where it all comes together. Do we have a working VPN system? How are we doing on that timer? So remember that IP address that we pasted in there? Well, this time we're gonna remove the admin part of it and it's gonna ask us for our username. I'm gonna put the username I've just created along with the password. Click on sign in and voila. It's got all the clients I can download. I'm gonna download this one for my computer. Of course, it's available for Windows and Mac, as well as Android and iOS. Simply follow the prompts to go through this. Aha, look at this. My VPN profile is already in there. It's ready to go. And all I have to do now is simply click on connect. But before we do that, what's my IP address right now? Well, there it is, it's on the screen. I'm gonna blur that out, obviously and let's change it from disconnected to connected. So it's making a secure connection from my computer to the server I've just created on the node. Refresh, what's my IP? And you can clearly see it's a different IP. This works in a couple of minutes, stop the clock. This is just friggin' awesome. Four minutes, four minutes of work is all it took to have your very own VPN system. Super impressive, Linode. I'm also gonna add two links in the description to harden your VPN. And remember, you have to install this on your cell phone because somebody can track you without your knowledge. Also, check out this video over here that YouTube thinks you should watch. Hit the head down here to subscribe and I'll see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.